Welcome back to another deep dive into open source. Today we're exploring top trending and open source GitHub projects this week. Part 1. Packed with tools, frameworks, and ideas, shaping how developers build and learn. You'll discover projects covering AI models, developer productivity, robotics, data visualization, and more, so you can decide what's worth starring or trying right now. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Foundations of LLMs, your complete open source guide to large language models. Let's dive into the world of Foundations of LLMs, an open source learning resource that feels like a guided tour through the core ideas behind large language models. This project is a free collaborative textbook created by the Database and Big Data Analytics Laboratory, Dali Lab at Zhejiang University, to help anyone curious about how modern LLMs work and why they matter right now. It explains how language models evolved from early statistical and RNN designs into today's transformer-based giants, then moves you through practical topics like prompt engineering, parameter-efficient fine-tuning, model editing methods, and retrieval augmented generation, all with real examples and links to influential research papers. The chapters are written with clarity and structured to build understanding step by step, and the maintainers update content regularly based on reader feedback and open issues from the community. It runs as a set of markdown files and a complete PDF that anyone can read or download directly from the repo, making it easy to learn on your own device without complex setup. This is a resource built for students, researchers, and developers to cut through complexity and gain real foundational insight into LLMs, explore at once, and feel how much clearer the landscape of language models becomes. Project number two, Big AGI Open, Advanced Multimodel AI Workspace. Here's something that feels like the future for anyone building or exploring intelligent systems. Big AGI Open is the open source foundation of a multi-model AI workspace designed to unify many cutting-edge capabilities under one roof. It's a free MIT license suite you can self-host or run in the cloud that brings together AI personas, AGI-style functions, multi-model chats powered by state-of-the-art engines like Gemini, GPT, Nano Banana, and more, voice and text-to-image support, code highlighting and execution, and PDF import right into a single interface. The core idea is to help engineers, researchers, and founders think broader and act faster by letting them compare and merge responses from many models through its Beam multi-model system, reducing hallucinations and boosting confidence in outputs. Built with modern web technologies and optimized for local-first, zero-latency performance, it lets you control your own API keys and avoid vendor lock-in while still tapping into powerful APIs. The docs show you can deploy it with Docker or Kubernetes and customize features, and recent work continues to refine performance and models supported. Try it today and watch your productivity shift instantly. Project number three, Copilot Kit, framework for in-app AI copilots. Here's something that feels like the future for developers building AI-powered apps. Copilot Kit is an open source, MIT licensed front-end framework that makes it easy to build AI copilots, chatbots, and interactive agents right inside your web application. At its core, it provides a React UI and elegant infrastructure that lets your app talk to any LLM or agent and display rich interactions with users, from conversational assistance to dynamic tool calls and custom components powered by AI. Copilot Kit supports headless UI for full control or customizable pre-built components, so engineers can tailor experiences fast, and it plays well with protocols like AGUI and popular stacks like Next, JS, and Langgraph, giving flexibility in how copilots connect and behave. The recent commits show active development with improvements to hooks like Use Agent, Human in the Loop patterns, and integration tools that help pause for user consent on actions, which matter for trust and safety. This project is built for app developers and teams who want intuitive, production-ready AI interactivity, reducing the friction of embedding sophisticated agents into UX and giving users deeper control and responsiveness. Explore it once and feel how smoothly it brings AI into your workflows. Project number four, PDF Brain, local PDF semantic search and knowledge base. Here's something that feels like the future for anyone who works with piles of documents and wants smarter answers. PDF Brain is a free open source tool that turns your PDF collection into a local searchable brain without sending anything to the cloud. 
It's built as a local first PDF knowledge base that extracts text from your files, chunks it, creates dense semantic embeddings using an embedded model via Olama's MXBA embed large, and stores everything in a lightweight PGGlite database with PG vector, so you can search deeply by meaning, not just keywords. You can add PDFs from your machine or a URL, then ask natural language queries or run full text search, all from a straightforward CLI that runs on your own device with no API costs or vendor lock-in. It supports hybrid search that blends full text and vector results, tags for organizing content, and even integrates with open code tooling if you want to mix it into larger AI workflows. Built-in TypeScript with a strong local-only philosophy, it's ideal for developers, researchers, and knowledge workers who need fast contextual recall from documents they control. Try it today and watch how it changes the way you navigate your own information. Project number five, F1 Race Replay, Interactive Python, F1 Telemetry Visualizer. Let's dive into a tool that feels like watching a race from above with a coder's eyes. F1 Race Replay is an open source Python app that brings Formula One race telemetry to life with an interactive replay you can run on your own machine. Built with Python and powered by the fast F1 package for real race data, it extracts live car positions, speed, tire info, and more, then renders them in a custom graphical interface using the Arcade library, so you can watch a session unfold like a mini broadcast. The project shows live leaderboards with status indicators and lap time displays, and gives you controls to pause, rewind, or speed up the action with keyboard shortcuts or on-screen buttons, making it a fun data-driven way to revisit a race moment by moment. It runs from a simple script you launch with year and round flags, and even supports sprint and qualifying session visualizations as they get refined, letting developers and F1 fans explore what happened on track with real telemetry rather than video. This is a tool for enthusiasts and data tinkerers who want to blend racing passion with hands-on code. Try it today and watch how your perspective on race data shifts instantly. Project number six, Spider, physics-based robot motion retargeting framework. Here's something that feels like the future for robotics and AI, where humans and machines learn to move together. Spider is an open source research framework from Facebook Research that creates a physics-based retargeting pipeline to transform human motion into robot actions, making complex robotic movement feel natural and scalable. This project focuses on dexterous hand and humanoid robots, letting you take raw human motion data, like video or kinematics, and compute realistic robot trajectories that respect physical constraints inside simulators such as Mujoko Rap and Genesis, so robots can pick up objects, run, kick, or perform tasks with balance and fidelity. Built in Python with physics-informed components and hooks for training or reinforcement learning workflows, Spider supports multiple robot platforms and integrates seamlessly with downstream policies to refine movement over time. The repo includes docs, examples, and tools to prove process datasets and run workflows tuned for diverse embodiments, giving researchers and engineers a flexible foundation to explore agile robotic behavior without crafting low-level physics code from scratch. It's especially valuable for labs and developers working on sim to real transfer, dexterous manipulation, and scalable robot autonomy. Try it today and see how quickly physical motion becomes part of your robotic workflow. Project number seven, Julep, serverless AI agent workflow platform. Here's something that feels like the future for developers and teams building intelligent systems. Julep is an open source platform that lets you deploy serverless AI workflows and build stateful agents that go beyond simple prompt chains and one-off responses. At its heart, Julep helps you create AI agents that remember past interactions, manage multi-step processes with loops and branching logic, and integrate external tools and APIs so your workflows feel alive and smart. Instead of wiring up LLM calls in memory yourself, you define modular workflows in YAML or with SDKs, Python and Node.js, that orchestrate conditional steps, persistent sessions and tool calls at scale, all without managing infrastructure. The repo shows it's designed to act like a Firebase for AI agents, offering built-in memory, error handling, and parallel execution, so developers can focus on logic and behavior rather than plumbing. Julep matters now because it simplifies the heavy lifting of building sophisticated automation, long-running assistance, and context-aware AI systems that can learn from history and adapt. It's ideal for engineers and researchers who want reliable, scalable intelligence with minimal ops. Explore it once and feel how smooth your AI workflows become. Project number 8. UMI End-to-end -end Open Foundation Model Platform Here's something that feels like the future for anyone building or customizing AI models. 
UMI is a fully open source platform that streamlines the entire life cycle of foundation models, from preparing data to training, evaluating and deploying models all in one place. It's designed so researchers, engineers, and teams can work with models ranging from tiny ones you can run on your laptop to very large ones you can scale up in the cloud, all with consistent commands and workflows that avoid vendor lock-in. The project lets you fine-tune models with advanced techniques like LoRa, QLoRa, and SFT, synthesize training data with AI judges, evaluate performance against benchmarks, and serve models efficiently with engines such as VLLM or SGLang, making the complex process of building tailored AI systems much simpler. Recent updates show new recipes for the latest model families like Llama 4 and QN3, and the addition of vision language support, highlighting active development. UMI runs via a unified CLI and clear config so you can train or evaluate with a few commands, and it works everywhere you need it, on local machines, clusters, or cloud platforms. Give it a try and see how quickly it becomes part of your workflow. Project number 9. Life Tracker. Visual life data in Obsidian. Here's something that feels like the future if you treat your notes as more than text. Life Tracker is an open source Obsidian plugin that adds a powerful Life Tracker base view type so you can turn tracked data in your vault into meaningful visual stories. Instead of manually scanning tables or writing queries, this plugin lets you define properties and then see your life patterns like moods, habits, dates, or numeric measures as heat maps, bar charts, line graphs, pie charts, and more right inside Obsidian. It supports a dozen visualization types and lets you configure time granularity from daily to yearly, grid layouts, and color schemes so you can tailor visuals to your needs, making your personal data come alive. It handles properties from front matter, formulas, and metadata to give you context-rich displays with interactive elements like tooltips and clickable chart items that open the source notes, Designed for knowledge workers, creatives, and anyone tracking habits or progress, it transforms your vault into a personal analytics dashboard without leaving your own device or relying on external services. Install it and explore your life data in ways that actually make sense. Project number 10. Effect Patterns Hub. Practical Patterns for Effect TS. Here's something that feels like a guidebook for developers in the world of typed functional programming. Effect Patterns Hub is a free, open-source, community-driven knowledge base of practical patterns for building robust applications with EffectTS, a type-safe, effect-oriented library for JavaScript and TypeScript. This project doesn't contain a runnable app. Instead, it collects real-world coding patterns that help developers understand the why behind common solutions like managing resources safely, structuring error handling, handling concurrency, building APIs and modeling data with immutable types, all organized by skill level, so you can grow from beginner to advanced practices. The focus is on clarity, observability, and maintainability, offering tested idioms and guidance, rather than raw API docs, helping you write predictable, composable code with fewer bugs and clearer intent. It's especially valuable for teams and engineers working with EffectTS, who want to standardize approaches and avoid reinventing foundational techniques. The hub runs as a set of markdown references you can read or link into your workflows, and its patterns are shaped by real usage and community input. Explore it once and feel how smooth your coding patterns become. Thanks for watching and exploring these projects with me. If you found this useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future drops. Let me know in the comments which repo impressed you most, and don't forget to star the projects and try the demos linked below. Share your suggestions for part 2 as well.